Good morning, boys and girls. Today, we are going to do a quick review on some things that I'm pretty sure you guys already know, but I wanted to make sure that we were all on the same page before we continue with our phonics boost lessons. Um, up until now, we have been doing a lot of reading fluency and accuracy, and we've been marking down our data and now we're going to get into the lessons and I want to do a quick review before we start those lessons so that you guys have access to it if you ever need to look back at it. And this is going to be a document that I will be keeping in our Schoology so that if you ever need it, you can go back and look at it. So the first thing that you're going to see is that we're looking at short vowels and long vowels. Um, so we all know that we have five vowels, sometimes six, right? So our main five vowels are A, E, I, O, U. And my caveat is sometimes Y, and we will t discuss that later. Um, but our five main vowels, A, E, I, O, U. And you will find a vowel in every single word that is written. Um, so we're going to talk a lot about we're going to be using academic vocabulary. And so the first thing is short vowels. A short vowel sound is, for A, is ah. And so we say apple. I always do this. You're going to see me doing this. You don't have to do this, but I think it's a really good um, clue. So it's like I'm holding an apple, apple. E, the short vowel sound for E. I'm going to take two fingers. I'm going to go across like it's an edge, and I'm going to say edge, edge. Okay, and a lot of times we hear egg also. It's the same sound. Um, the short vowel sound for the letter I is I, like itch. Okay, so I'm going to pretend like I'm itching myself and I'm going to go itch, itch. Okay, next we have our O, a short O sound makes the ah sound like octopus. And so I'm going to kind of take my hand, I'm going to pretend they're little tentacles, and I'm going to go octopus, octopus. And for sure, you, it makes the uh sound in like in the word up. So we would go up, up. Okay, so that is the difference between short and long. A long vowel says its name. So A says A. E says E, I says I, O says O, and U says U. Um, and another couple important vocabulary definitions to keep in mind. I'm going to be saying the word phoneme a lot. That word is right here. Um, the word phoneme is the smallest piece, smallest unit of sound, okay? Um, so in the word cat, k a t cat. There are three phonemes. The difference between that and a syllable is a syllable is part of a word. Um, and so if we were to say how many syllables are in the word cat, cat, there is only one syllable, okay? If I were to say the word catastrophic, catastrophic, there are four syllables in that word. So a syllable is just part of a word. And a phoneme is the smallest piece of sound in a word. And the really um, important reason that that is important is because of these things called digraphs. And a digraph is when two consonants come together, they make one sound, like in the word cheese. Ch -e -z, cheese. Cheese has five letters, so a phoneme is different than a letter. Cheese has five letters, it only makes three sounds. Ch -e -z, cheese. Okay? Um, so C-H, S-H, T-H, C-K, P-H, and W-H are all examples of consonant digraphs. Um, and we will be working with that. Um, I just wanted you to see this visual. And um, tomorrow, what we're going to be working on is closed syllables. And so I just kind of wanted to give you guys a preview of that. Um, so that's what we're going to be working on tomorrow. So if you have any questions, don't feel afraid to reach out. Um, but being able to identify these small things in reading will help us when we are starting to read larger words or what we would say multisyllabic words, okay? So not the word cat, but catastrophic, okay? Being able to decode those words. So I hope you liked the video and I hope you guys have a 